Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this Python for Finance series. You can consider that this video is an update for the Python for Finance uh, series tutorial and also Python projects regarding the web scrapping. In the last in the last week, I created two videos, part one and part two, um, to update the web scrapping content. However, I found that that approach is not ideal and work properly during live. So I create this part feed to let you know how, what kind of problems that I'm facing and how I solve the problems to do the web scrapping and get the live data continuously. I no longer use the beautiful shoot in order to completely solve the problems. Instead, I'm using Selenium to do the web scrapping, which is a much more powerful method, but less efficient. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's take a look to, to see what are the problems that we have when we are uh, when we're doing the live web scrapping. Here you can see this is a euro to US dollar, uh, which is a live uh, data over here. You can see in this diff class, we in this can find the thin streamer, which is that we are using over our web scrapping uh, script. That is the fin stream, fin streamer, and also the fin streamer. This is this allows us to capture the price and also capture the changes. However, you can see that under this fin streamer, there is an other class that is a spend, that is a class uh, with random strings to that to contains the live data including the price and also the price changes here if we take a closer look to this span class and take a closer look on this string the class name you can see that this string is keep updating when these data is updating live so in that case it would be rather difficult you can see that it's changing that is rather difficult for us to capture this spend class so yahoo dynamically change the class name for the other spend uh, that is under this fin streamer you can see that they do not change the class um, the, the class name over here so in that case it's still possible for us to capture these price changes however we are not able to capture these price at, at live there's one way that we can solve these problems uh, say for example we can use these previous close which is a static information and this previous close and then of course we can capture this data and calculate it back to the current price this is one way to solve the problems um, the other ways to solve that but however if we go to the other stock say for example here you can see we have a volume over here normally these volumes will continue to update live so there's no way for me to calculate back the volumes dynamically so in that case if you do not need to capture the volume it's okay that for you to continue to use the beautiful shoot just like what i mentioned you can capture these data and then Based on the changes, you can calculate back to the current price, that is the live price. But in that case, you, you cannot capture the volume. So to complete the story, I just change um, to use uh, the Selenium instead of the Beautiful Shoot. Here, I would like to emphasize that Beautiful Shoot is much more efficient if we just want to uh, capture the data in a shorter period of the time but selenium is much more powerful and there's much more uh, they, they, they have much more functionalities over there so in a nutshell 
if you do not care about the volumes, you can continue to use the beautiful shoot and then capture the previous close and capture these changing these changes and then calculate back the price the live price but if you need the volume the transactions volumes then let's switch it to another approach that is the selenium just in case if you want me to show you how to do it in the beautiful shoot uh, please feel free to let me know i can do another video for you but for the, these lessons let's go to the selenium's approach use selenium we need a web driver the reason is that uh, selenium will help you to open a browser so in that case, we need say web drivers to help us to open a browser. Uh, on the other hand, for the beautiful shoot, the logic is that they just download the entire HTML from the URL. And then based on that URL contents, they help they will help you to uh, filter out the useful functions for you. But for this for but for the Seleniums, they take an other approach, a different approach. Uh, they will help you to open the browsers, so we need to define which browser that we would like to like it to use to open the uh, web page. And in my examples, I will use the Chrome browser. So I need to download the Chrome driver. But before we download the Chrome driver, you we need to know which versions that uh, our Chrome browser is. So you need to open a browser, open the Chrome, and then there's a free dot over here, and then click on the help, and then about Google Chrome. And here you can see the versions of your Google Chrome. And now we have the versions. You can get then go to this link. I will leave it in the uh, descriptions. You can just go to this um, this web page and download the versions of um, that match with your Chrome driver. And in my cases, is these versions. So I just go to the Chrome driver over here and download the versions. So once you click on it, and it will just allow you to select which operation system that you would like to have and in my case it's is a windows so i click on the win 32 and just open the winzip file and you will get this chrome driver and what you need to do is to just copy this or extract this driver to a locations that can be easily accessed say for example i just put it in my c drive program file x86 and over here you can see i've already put it in this path okay and once you did that uh, it's now ready to import the selenium uh, just like what I mentioned, the first things that I would like to import is the web driver. And then we need to think about what kind of methods that we would like to use to capture the information. In my case, I will use the find element. And in that case, I need to also from this web driver i also need to import the methods by which is help me to use the x path to find the elements and capture the uh, relevance value so we need to from the selenium web driver dot comment dot by import by 
and then because I want to do the web scrapping live, I do not want to open the window. So in my case, I will just add an option to disable the window functions. I mean to disable opening the window. So in that case, I will uh, import an options. And for this one, selenium.webdriver.chrome.options import options. Because I'm using Chrome, so I use the Chrome options and import options. Sometimes when I find the elements uh, that might not be there, or sometimes when we are using this by XPath methods that it does not allow me, it does not capture anything. So in that case, I will also import these exceptional exceptions, uh, import these no such elements exceptions to handle these uh, exceptions. And just like what we did before, because we want to save the data in a CSV file. So we're going to use the pandas functions. And finally, I also would like to capture the correct times at what times I capture the information to put it back into the CSV file. So I import the date time. And similar to what we did in the past, there are two functions that we are going to build. So um, the first function is the XPath element. And so this XPath element is that allow us to pass an XPath into these functions, pass these arguments into these functions, and then it, re it return me the corresponding element. That means it will help me to capture the underlying contents, the correct contents that I would like to capture and then pass it back, pass it back to me as an elements variable. And then just like what we did before again, so we will create this real time price functions. So what I what I'm going to do is to in, is to pass and stock cook arguments into these functions, and then these functions will return me few things that includes the price, the price change, the volume, the latest pattern, and one year target. So just like what we did, it will return me these five informations. However, just like what I mentioned before, the latest patterns has been removed completely uh, from Yahoo Finance. But um, to make sure that this platform can, uh, these web scrappings uh, uh, functions can continue to work with the platforms, I will continue to uh, leave it over here. Just in case if you want to remove it, please feel free to remove it over here and also uh, go back to the platform and we remove the uh, remove the latest patterns and that will continue to, to, to serve the purpose. So that is completely fine. And then once we have these two functions, of course, just like what we did before, we are going to pass it with a bunch of stock and then we will continue to capture all this data and then put it back to the CSV file. That is the whole idea. That is the entire skeleton. Uh, but for the time being, I will just comment it these things first. It's not too difficult to uh, get the Selenium work. The first things that we need to define is a path. And this path is the driver. 
the path of the driver here we go and what you need to do is to copy this path copy this path and then copy this name so this is the full path to get access to this Chrome driver.exe file. And then with this path, we can set up a driver object. So the web driver dot we are using Chrome. So what we need to do is just pass this path over here. And that will allow us to create a driver object. And once we have these Chrome driver objects, we can then use the methods to get access to the URL and with that URL we can get access to the underlying elements but before we work on with the underlying elements in this real time price functions I would like to set the option uh, remember we have these options so we will create a variable called home options uh, with, with the use of these uh, options methods what I wanted to do is of this home options object is to add a argument that is the headless for this one this is to help me not show the home window so this will help me to not show the Chrome window. And then in this web drive, I will add this Chrome options argument. So here, options equals to these Chrome options. So in that case, uh, even it's captured the URL and it will I'll get access to that URL, it will not show the Chrome windows. So to get access to a URL, we can use the driver dot URL. Sorry, dot get methods. Let me say get methods. We will use the get methods to communicate with the URL. And then of course we need to define the URL. And just like what we did before, we will copy this URL over here and because we want to provide some flexibility so over here I will just change this stock code with the stock code argument so once uh, when we call these functions we pass this stock code and it will just complete the URL 